they have the wounds they they have the evidence in their hands and in their their foot so i think they're not telling a lie they're just telling what just was what happened to them mm. and, uh, 50,000 pesos just to keep their mouth shut mm. uh digi bantag and all the orders coming from uh, bantag goes to him directly as a matter of fact it was the document about the killing of uh 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 billion more the the pdls were the ones who also made the statement that it was solveta who gave the orders to them mm. <laughs> and he was the chief of operations there he was present and he did not do anything to stop the the torture or the human rights violation happening inside the office of solveta or the office of uh, Bantag mm. case. Uh, this time, it directly involves Solveta. It's a case about a PDL who was uh, stabbed in the, on the chest and almost died. But he was stabbed by another PDL. And that PDL that stabbed the other PDL got the order from Solveta. To stop that uh, inmate, uh, this PDL are what you call the commanders, mm. and there was a uh, conspiracy inside the Bucor that this uh, they there's an ongoing investigation that I can prove that they have a quota to sell uh, serve, uh, goods inside the the Bilibi in the amount of two to, to four million a month. And this quota, they should be able to uh, get or make so that they'll be in good terms with the people with, with inside the Bucor. Mm. Reds, cell phone, and other, other illegal uh, the things that can be sold inside the believe it as mm -hmm. like a commissary and these uh, commanders have to reach that quota of uh, two to four million but the prices of this uh, uh, cigarette are really uh, you can't believe it for one pack of cigarette it will cost you 1,000 to 1,500 but then bon us they were selling the the Red Horse beer in Cannes in uh, 1,000 each. So uh, when we counted all the beer in Cannes, there's, there was about 7,500 mm -hmm. of it. So if you you count it or you, you multiply it, it will cost about 7.5 million mm -hmm. pesos. They were hit and that uh, they were even threatened that they will be killed. Or officials will, would, wouldn't want to follow the orders, illegal orders coming from those come the officers of Bantag who were seconded coming from the BJMP orders. Or sometimes they even just uh, forgot to salute and they were being uh, hit uh, for not saluting. Because you know what happened was these guys coming from BJMP, they were just uh, enlisted personnel or in the rank of non-commissioned officials. But when they came in Bucor, they occupied the key positions. So these positions were had the, having the rank of major and even a general. Mm. So these people coming from BJMP ended up outranking by virtue of the position they occupied in Bucor, outranking the Bucor officials themselves. So some some of them refused to salute or forget to salute and uh, they were insulted because they wanted the Bucor employees to give respect to those who, who were coming from the BJMP as 
seconded officials came from a, a very disciplined organization. And what is happening now, what is happening now in Bucor is really out of this world. Uh, really, you really have to discipline the people and put up the systems so that uh, order and uh, respect will be will come back in Bucor. Mm. It was really to uh, uh, they are even telling to a total rebound. You know, uh, some of it's it's uh, insulting to say this, but what happened in Bucor is a civilian person was given a uniform and then he started wearing it. And even he is not trained f to become a uniform personnel. He 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 failed to learn the the discipline and the training that should. Uh, any uniform personnel should undergo. So that's the thing missing here in Bucor. You need uh, to retrain the people and make sure that they understand military or a uniform uh, decorum, respect, and uh, discipline mm. in the in the in wearing the uniform mm. that we will have to reform. Because the inmates, they are very much willing to reform themselves because they want to to get their freedom back. But, but unfortunately, the people inside Bucor has their own agenda. And uh, they always say, what is it for me? Mm. Yeah. So, so that's why in the, the military, we have command leadership or mm. co uh we we are responsive or we are responsible for whatever our men does or fail to do so at the end of the day the buck stops at the commander so everybody earns even a very simple warden even the person who allows visitors to come in <laughs> They asked some money to, to just to be prioritized. So really, the the problem is quite heavy mm. and deep mm. in Bucor. So there there should be a change of uh, my mindset mm. that Bucor is here to reform the the inmates or the PDL not for them to make it a milking cow. Mm. Uh, we were already cautioned by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources that we, the Bucor committed illegal quarrying operations and uh, that somebody should be uh, made to answer this. So based on that findings, uh, we will file the corresponding charges against uh, DG Pantag mm. for allowing the excavation near the director's quarters. Mm. And also, we'd like to run after the Atom in as much as they already donated some portions of land, about 200 hectares in Nueva Ecija. And then all of a sudden, they withdrew the contracts. And uh, they took away the original uh, titles, which unfortunately were given away by my own personnel. That's why uh, two or three persons now are under investigation for allowing these things to happen. Mm. So that by the end of the year, they will be in the proper forum. It, it will be filed in the fiscal's office or in the... Uh, Human Rights Commission, or uh, as regards the plunder charges, I will be filing against uh, DG Bantag. I will pass this on to the office of the Secretary Remulia, in as much as these are big cases that normally should be referred to my my head department. Mm. Uh, 
uh, safe and uh, I don't have a pattern of movement. So even if there's a threat, uh, I can still move around and ju- do my duties. Mm. In as much as there's really uh, so many things to be done here, not only to address the iniquities or abuses of the previous administration, but to move forward and uh, continue with the reforms that we have started here in Bioport. Mm.